Hello, have you ever experienced that when you turn on the computer, it asks you to press the F1 key to start Windows? Or else it enters Windows, but the date is incorrect? The date may appear ahead or behind, but it's not the correct date. Even if you change it from the Windows settings, this date doesn't hold. And this is because they have a battery usually of the CR2032 model. These batteries have a lifespan, so they need to be replaced. But they are inside the computer. In this case, I will have to disassemble it to make that change. Well, I continue uncovering the computer. It's important to have a maintenance kit. I will turn the computer. Always disconnect the power cable. It's important to place the screen on something flat so you can lower the base as much as possible. Can you see it? Let me lower the base more. With this, I already have access to this plastic cover. I have to remove it To see the screws underneath it. I will use a cross tip to remove these screws here. Always take good care of the screws. They are important because we will use them again. Here it has four screws that I need to remove. Once I remove the screws, I will be able to remove the base. This is the base, and I will put in another place to work. Now, at the bottom of the display, there are two screws. Here is one, and here is the other. I have to remove them. They are a bit wider, so I will use a wider flat tip. I have to be careful because inside it has some plastics that hold the cover. When you turn the screw a bit, the plastic releases the cover. Then, all around the edge of the screen, there are also some plastic pieces that need to be removed carefully so they don't break. I won't fast forward the video because I don't want you to think that removing this cover is easy. Besides, I want you to see that it has to be done very carefully. Here it has some plastic pieces that need to be removed carefully. On this side, there is one of the units. So you have to be careful because inside, it has some cables connected to this device.
Now, here is the uncovered computer. Hi everyone, I am Felipe Perez. Did you know that tutorials are evaluated by YouTube's technology algorithm? And what does this mean? Well, it means that the algorithm analyze if the tutorial receives likes, comments, or subscriptions. And based on that, they recommend them to more people who want to learn about this topic. Otherwise, they simply disappear. My main goal is to help you and many others who want to learn. And you can be part of this mission so easily. Just by liking or leaving a comment. That way, we can contribute to helping others. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a like. Well, here we have a cover with several screws. One, two, three, four. Four screws that needs to be removed. Now that I have removed the screws, I can remove this cover. Remember that I told you it was a battery well? This is the battery that we need to replace. This computer the battery that needs to be replaced is the CR2032 module. I'll use this tool to remove the battery. Done. Here is the damaged battery. Even this battery is a bit flooded. I don't know if you can see it. The new battery is flat and this battery is a bit inflated. Okay. It's time to put it in place. All right, the replacement is done. Since we are here, Notice that it has its memory banks. It has two memory modules. Here is the 3.5 inch hard drive. Here is its main card. Here are its two speakers. And here is the module for USB connections. Well, now that we have replaced the battery that needs to be replaced, I will cover it to leave it as it was. But before covering the computer, it's advisable to turn on the computer to see if the damage has been indeed been made. Because if I close it and there is a failure or it hasn't been done well, I would have to uncover the computer again. Very carefully, I will plug in the power cable and turn it on to see if it's working correctly. I'll start the system. It's starting up fine. Here it's turning on perfectly, so there is no problem. I will turn it off. Now let's cover it. I'll disconnect the power cable and here comes the same process. But now to cover the computer. Whenever you are putting the screws, never tighten them before finishing putting them all in. 
because sometimes you have to move the cover to adjust it well. If you tighten the screw, you run the risk of the other not fitting well. Preferably, use a tool that has a little magnet, because in this case, a screw can fall out, and it's very complicated to remove it from inside the devices or cards, since they are all fitted together. So, if you have already tightened each screw, now it's time to cover it. And the same procedure before I cover it. I will tell you something. These are the plastic pieces that help secure the cover inside. These are the ones that on the outside seems like a screw. But it's not a screw. It's a latch. It's just a plastic that secures and enters these parts here. But it's only a hook, not a screw. So if you uncover a computer like this, don't try to turn it like a screw. I'll press to ensure that the latches are secure inside. All plastic latches must fit well. Now here, they must secure this side after war. And finally, the bottom part. Done. The computer is covered. And now it's time to place its base. And its screws. And finally, the plastic cover. But first, I'll position the computer properly. And there it is ready now let's insert the USB also the power cable and turn on the computer we wait for it to turn on here is the damaged battery And with this, we conclude this tutorial. Remember, this computer has the CR2032 module battery. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful to you. Goodbye.